It's Nishti here, specialist dietitian for children and parents. And this video is going to be all about confirming if your child has cow's milk protein allergy, because a lot of parents I see aren't really convinced that their child has an allergy to cow's milk, despite the child showing clear signs and symptoms such as reflux, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, colic, you name it, all of these symptoms, which I've done so many videos on. Um, and for, the, for that, we do have uh, guidelines that we follow uh, to help uh, parents really um, try and do it at home and reintroduce cow's milk formula at home to see if it's actually cow's milk protein allergy that your child has or not. So let me show you what we do. Let me show you the guidelines. Uh, if you're a parent and you are like, mm, I don't actually think that my child needs to be on this specialized formula, such as, for example, Nutramagen, Similac, Alimentum, Neocade, Pure Amino, all of these formulas that are specialized, free from cow's milk. If you're not convinced, then there is a way that you can reintroduce cow's milk formula into the diet to see if it actually is cow's milk protein allergy or not. And this is for breastfeeding and for formula fed parents. So I'll show you the guidelines. I'll talk you through it, but please bear in mind, this is not medical advice. Always follow the advice of your doctor and your dietitian. So let me show you the guidelines. Uh, and, you know, it is very common for, for parents not to be uh, fully convinced. Uh, so it's okay, you know, these things happen. So share. I hope you can see my screen now. Excuse me, all my tabs. I'm writing my dissertation, so I've got lots of tabs open. So what we have here is the early home reintroduction to confirm the diagnosis of cow's milk allergy. And this is for parents at home. This is not for children with IgE-mediated cow's milk protein allergy. Totally different, not the same. So there are things that we need to, first of all, be mindful of. And they've listed here uh, five things that you need to pay attention to before you do this, before you, you, you introduce the cow's milk formula. So they've put here, for example, number one, your child needs to be well. You know, if they're teething or they have a cough or a cold, it's not the right time to do it. Two, um, you stop the reintroduction um, obviously if they are on antibiotics you don't start the reintroduction because antibiotics we know can cause diarrhea uh, if they're on reflux medication make sure that you continue that and do not stop it as they've listed here and do not introduce any other foods because you may not know if it's the sweet potato that's causing the issue or cow's milk and um, formula and then also uh, you know if your child has eczema they say here, keep a record of your child eat uh, and drinks during the reintroduction of um, and re record any possible symptoms such as vomiting, bowel changes, rashes or changes in their eczema. Now, I firmly believe, this is my personal practice, if a child has eczema, I never recommend them to reintroduce cow's milk into the diet because it's, it's so simple. Eczema, in my humble opinion, when you, when you stop um, dairy products, the child gets better. So that's Nishi's choice. You can follow it or you cannot. It's, it's all up to you. Um, so let's say you are formula feeding your child. What do you do? Well, here's a practical guide. And I'll also talk about the breastfeeding mothers. Uh, so for example, um, what we want to do is, let me just put my phone on silent. Day one is you so we always go by 210 10 ml bottle or seven ounces of formula. And you start by adding 30 ml in with 180 ml or, or one ounce to six ounce. And then you go two ounce to five ounce. And then you start building it up. And remember it's cow's milk formula. It is not cow's milk. Unless your child is above the age of one, you can do cow's milk, but obviously for those under one, it's cow's milk formula. And then you go one, two, three, four, seven days. If your child hasn't reacted, then you can just change all the bottles over to cow's milk. 
formula, cow's milk formula. <laughs> if your child reacted after day one or two or three, obviously you stop and there's your confirmation. Did you, so you write down the symptoms. My child um, did not have a rash, but on day three, my child had a rash. Cow's milk protein allergy. On day one, my child um, didn't have diarrhea. On day two, my child started to have diarrhea. Cow's milk protein allergy. On day one, my child was settled. On day three, my child was unsettled. They were up all night screaming, arching their back in pain. Cow's milk protein allergy right? So pay attention to how they were before and after you start reintroducing the cow's milk formula into the diet. Now for fully breastfed children, the equation is very simple. <laughs> Just eat, eat the tiramisu that you wanted to eat for the last three months, <laughs> eat cheese on toast, whatever it is that you want and see what happens to your baby. Because obviously the protein is passed through breast milk into the baby. Now, some parents like to do it very slowly. So that's okay. I fully understand. So if you're a bit, if you're a bit scared, you could start with um, a a spoonful of yogurt or tiramisu. I don't know why I'm talking about tiramisu, but I'm obviously craving it. <laughs> so it's 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 all up to you how you do it. But it's um, uh, there are guidelines. So these you can find them online. I will also put them down below, and uh, you can click on it and read through it. Uh, and obviously, your dietitian might have discussed these with you anyway. Um, or you might be here because you're thinking mm, you, you might have just seen your GP and, and you haven't seen your dietitian yet. So I'm hoping that this will help some of you out there. OK, so if you have any questions um, or if you want any help or advice, we do provide online help and support to parents all over the world. So you're more than welcome to reach out on info at nishishchoice.com. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.